Hello, it's Sarah. And today I wanted to do a Pandora update, guys. Um, I'm really loving it. And the thing is, I'm not trying to, to be an enabler, all right? I'm learning all about that at the moment. But I enjoy this, and it's my channel, and I can do what I want. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about sizing today as well, because now that I have a few bracelets... Um, I want to talk about the difference in length and how that's important or not important because it's all personal preference. So when I first got my, this is the bracelet. Actually, I got this one originally and it's a 7.5. So I have two 7.5 inches and one 7.1 inch bracelets. In general, I like a 7 inch bracelet. So um it makes sense that this would probably be more my size. Uh, but my thought was when I bought the bigger ones, which I bought first, that I'm going to be adding all these beads to it. And that will cause the bracelet to come in a little bit because of all the, you know, the, the width of the beads. So I thought, well, that I'm going to need that room. Okay, so I went to Jared. I bought my Poetic Blooms bracelet loaded it up. I have now I have four Muranos on here, which I love. I'm in love with Muranos. And I would do a bracelet with all Muranos if that's Kiwi. I have my birdie with me. But in the back of the catalog, this is from 2017. It's a sizing guide, right? And so I hadn't done any of this before I bought that. It was just kind of my thought. I was kind of like common sensing it, you know, thinking, okay, well, I like a seven, but seven and a half would probably be better because blah, blah, blah. So what it says back here, that's, let's do this. It says wrap a tape measure tightly around where your wrist is broadest and add one inch to the measurement. So let's go ahead and do that. I, and now I don't know, like, where's your wrist broadest? I'm going to go with, kind of over my wrist bone there because I don't know I think that'll probably take up some room um, I wear my watch right there on top of my wrist and then I would really prefer to wear my bracelet above it so I'm gonna measure right around there um, I have a tape measure inches yes and I'm gonna just hold it up against my body for a sec okay so let's see where this comes to I think I'm just going to go over the bone. What the heck? And it looks to be about 6.1 inches. Six, you know, right around there. So, add one inch to that measurement. That's what it says, right? So, where your wrist is brought us and add one inch to that measurement. Next, find the closest bracelet size. So, 7.1. I'm right on point with that, right? Um, some customers prefer to roll the bracelet over the hand when measuring for a bracelet that will roll across the hand. Measure tightly where your hand is the broadest. So if you like to wear it down on your hand. But like I said, I do prefer, and I'm going to put my watch on. I've been giving my wrist a break because I'm getting little, I think this is eczema. I always get these itchy bumps. So I'm not sure. I, I wonder if it's this. I don't think, I've never had an allergy to jewelry, but I have a feeling it's my eye watch. Um, that when I'm sweating, because I exercise with this on, um, that this silicone or whatever this band is made of may be getting me itchy. But, um, or I don't know if it's itchy or whatever, but I'm getting a reaction. So that's where my watch sits generally, right there. And I like it right there. It's out of the way. Um, it doesn't bother me, and I can wear the seven and a half. Let me just put this on. I like to put mine on with the clasp facing down, and then I just pull the bottom up and open the clasp, and then you can stick that in the notch, and boom. So see where that sits kind of a little bit lower than where I measured, right? And like I said, this is the 7.5, so it's not officially the correct size that I would that they suggest me use but like I said it's personal preference and I still have room on this bracelet I could fit another Murano or you know I can fit 
two, three, maybe four beads possibly on here. And that may bring it up, but I can also still fit two fingers underneath. And that's another thing. Um, when, I, when I've been in the store now, um, over Christmas it was much busier and you didn't really get a lot of time with the sales people. Um, but now that I've been able to go in there and really have time to spend with the associate, um, we've talked about size a bit more and I've come to believe now that I am a true 7.1 inch bracelet. I should, that's my, should be my go-to size. But like I said, it's personal preference. So that's what I did. I went and I got the 7.1 in the two-tone and I'm going to get a 7.1 in the barrel as well. So I'm going to wait probably mother around Mother's Day or something. Who knows uh, the next time they have some type of a um, sale or promotion because they do like I think the spring line comes out in March in this month they're going to do um, a 14 cat I'm sorry 18 carat over silver too or something like that um, I saw a preview of that but I'm going to wait and see and I like I'm cheap so I've been shopping a lot on eBay and I want to talk to you guys about that too listen um, I don't know who the people are on eBay, the vendors on eBay, but they may be wholesalers that can buy the jewelry initially at a cheaper price, so they're able to sell it at a cheaper price. And hey, I'm all for that. I am, like I said, I mean, cheap, I don't know if cheap is the best word, but frugal and thrifty, maybe. Thrifty, right? <laughs> I've bought a lot of these pieces for the regular price, but I've bought now, where's my phone? It's in there. I think I've bought at least seven or eight pieces on eBay, and I've got them for a very much discounted price. Um, I've bought a Murano that is regularly in this catalog. It's $55. I'll show you. For $19 on eBay. So it's right here. It's still available, the Flower Garden. $55. Here it is. Nope, wait. Here it is. For $19. i will come in close and share these because this is some of my update stuff, my new stuff. <clears throat> Anywho, <coughs> so just, I'm not enabling you. I'm not saying you need to go out and buy full price, break the bank, put yourself in hock. Gotta have it, no. But it can be addictive. Just like, I mean, everything can, you know? So have fun, but be responsible. Buy responsibly, kids. <clears throat> All right. So this is my latest. So this is my 7.1 two-tone. I'll go in a little closer. <clears throat> I actually took off uh, one, the lock with the gold key. Uh, two, this heart. I think it's called can't think of it. P Christmas gift. Took that off. Took this carriage off, which I got at the outlet. And I took off my fairy dangle. She has a little heart, a gold heart on her tummy. These four I took off my um, Poet Blooms because I figured I'll just stick with pinks and flowery and girly and, you know, sweet and um, CZs and whatever and I had plenty of beads to fill that one up so I took all the two tones off there and now I have this and I also then went in and got I think I bought these two so this is a big clip this is really big I didn't realize well I did I was right there this is a heart a braided heart clip and clips go over this little threading part on your bracelet. And I like clips because they keep the beads from just all hanging on the bottom. They keep them in these little sections. So it also supposedly helps from getting the, the bracelet stretched out because a snake chain t does tend to stretch. So I like clips. I like to have them on here. Even if your bracelet's not full, I don't mind. I like to have that so that they can just move around a little bit. I bought that one, and I bought this one, the family bead. I'm not sure what it's officially called, 
but it's got a mommy. She's got a little CZ in her dress. Let me go on a teensy bit more. Oh dear. I knew it. All right. And a daddy. He has like a tie on and stuff. A little girl. A little boy. And a little another kid there. And there's a gold heart. Silver heart. Gold, silver. So there were a couple of little two-tone touches on that, but I wanted the bead to represent family. I have some family stuff going on, and I wanted to remind myself how important that is to have, regardless of issues and things. My little fairy, she's a magical fairy. I love fairies and angels anyway. I'm not necessarily religious, but I'd like to think that there are little beings that are just positive energy <laughs> in the world. I don't know. Um, and my little carriage, and there's a little person in there, I think, has the, the gold crown with the pearl on top. This is my only not two-tone, which is this clip. I think it's like, it's just a leaf clip, but I have a, I want to get the next time I'm in the city or when they have a sale or whatever, maybe when I get my bracelet, I'll pick up the clip too, because it's not retired yet. It's a heart with a script love written across it in gold. That's the other clip I want to have for this bracelet. Then this one I love. It was for Christmas. I got that for Christmas. This one I just got. Retired, and I think it was the last one they had at the outlet. Don't know what it's called, but it's got a gold heart. Um, and then this one, which I really love. And I'm not a star person, per se, but this, these, this is so chunky. And it just reminds me of the old school beads I had. They're different. It's changed since I used to collect. So this one just really, it's one of my faves, I have to say. But it's got those big gold stars. And my little lock and key. And I like to keep, if you don't put a clip on the back of your, I'm going to go back up a little. If you don't put a clip on the bottom of your, bracelet your beads can fall off so you really need to have something here either with threads or a clip so that when you take it off your beads don't won't just go falling off um, but this is what I tend to wear now all the time well for the most part I was giving my let's put it on here I want to show you too now right I'm gonna put it on sorry I just have to hold it up against my body for a sec and it's much small, it's, well, it's a half an inch smaller, right? So it's a little more tight, and it's newer, so it's tighter, because the um, snake chains loosen up. But it fits right there. I'm going to go back up. I hate when I forget that I'm zoomed in. So that's where it fits. I'm going to take off my watch, because I'm giving my wrist a break for my watch. And it can be up high, but it still is a little loose, so I'm not sure... If I wouldn't want to go down a little and look I can still even fit two fingers under it um, so maybe I'll put some Murano's on here eventually too because I do love them I think they do come with like um, a gold core so that I tend to be wearing on this hand because I have a two-tone wedding set and I just like the way it looks so that's what I've been doing so, I said, when I went into the outlet, I bought this bracelet, which is $100, guys. So it's not, we're not messing around here. So just make sure you're, you know, I don't want to enable people and say you have to have it or anything. But it was in the budget for us, so I got it. I treated myself. You got a free bracelet this day, and I don't know why they were doing that. I ended up getting this uh, leather and I'd never had a leather, so I'm like, oh, cool, okay, anything free is good. But these go for about 50 bucks normally. So this was at the outlet. So I'm pretty sure it's a retired color because they have lots of colors. I mean, I don't want to waste time going through here, but let's see if I can just see if they have the colors available. Nope, can't find it, sorry. I do know that um, they've changed the style of this bracelet now, though, too, because I've seen videos and um, gone online and seen the other leathers or 
I guess that these are the old ones or the new ones, I'm not sure, have the threading here on the end caps. They have the threading, which I think is a good idea because look, the beads just fall right off if, if I mean, I could put a clip here. So ideally, you wouldn't want that to happen, especially I love these beads. These are eBay beads. I got these three for about 70 bucks, which sounds like a lot, but Murano's are 55 bucks. This very one is 55. This one, these are retired, and so they're not even available in uh, stores anymore. So I, I'm, and I'm in love, and I bought them specifically for this bracelet. Um, but yes, yeah, so you would want to put your beads on and then possibly a clip. And this is a round clip. They have other ones. They have smaller ones, uh, different shaped ones, like more like a spacer size. So anywho, but look, when you put a clip at the bottom, they won't fall off because that has a smaller hole so that it won't get past that end cap. So that's probably, if you really love those beads, I mean, and you've spent a lot of money, don't, don't let them fall off, but I'm just super careful um, when I take mine off. I make sure I'm somewhere I know I can find them easily. So I got this bracelet for free, and I was wearing these three beads on that bracelet before I got this bracelet, which I got the blue one for 25% off because on um, President's Day, you could get... It was all the retired stuff was 20 for 25 percent off so what did I get that day I don't know I mean I think I've showed you everything new that I got um, but anyway so I got this for you know cheap too maybe 25 bucks when they're regularly like the ones that aren't retired are 50 at least so um, I think these might be the only two colors my outlet had they only had, and I think they were out of the pink, so they only had this, but it turned out perfect because I had previously gotten this um, blue butterfly Murano right here. So I had him in my stash, and wouldn't you know it, it goes perfect with this blue leather. So this is the other thing I've been wearing on a pretty regular basis. I was wearing these three beads, so my palette because I am an artsy person my blue butterfly and this is my dragonfly meadow charm which I'm I just love this dragonflies are my other favorite bug I think I I might add a dragonfly tattoo at some point but probably not but if I did get another tattoo it would be a dragonfly so I just love these on this blue leather and then on my pink leather let me show you these beads because like I said I specifically got these were on my wish list or should I say watching so when you go to eBay you can um, go look through at things you might want to get and you can put watch this so it just shows it's just a, kind of a way of keeping track of what you like and when I had my old um, Pandora bracelet I had a bird and I had a ladybug but they didn't have any CZs on them like these. So this is the newer ladybug, the little face, the little six toes, and it's all pink and black CZs. And then this is the new bird. It's got little wings. You can see the wings there, the tail, the little feet. And then it has a heart-shaped chest. It's like a robin. I don't know the official. Um, name oh, I just had to have it and you know what I was really it's funny because when you don't get to see them in person you can't tell how big they are they were much smaller than I thought which I like so they're a lot more petite and I just think they had to go with this guy so I ordered all three of these beads from eBay and for the most part I well all in all I've only had one issue with eBay ever and I've bought a lot of stuff from eBay I have gotten this dove charm, this dangle. I got my peace sign for much cheaper and I had this on my old bracelet and it's retired. So you're not gonna be able to get some of the retired beads um, unless you get them from eBay or luckily enough at an outlet that has still has some because they sell out at the outlet. I got 
this little fairy on a mushroom and I got this heart spacer um, I got all those from eBay and uh, da, 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 these three and the only I had ordered a pair of these spacers and she never responded and she never sent them and I and so you put in a um, you know, complain, I guess, or whatever. You let eBay know. They they research it and find out, and they gave me my money back. They sent me my money back, so it was no problem. It wasn't a big deal at all. Just disappointing that I, you know, I wanted those beads, but I ended up finding this at the outlet and got one. And um, but for the most part, just I like to look at the presentation. So. Make sure it says authentic Pandora, not just authentic red robin bird, blah, 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 because it is authentic. Obviously, it's a real, it could be sterling silver. It could be everything Pandora beads are, but not Pandora. So make sure it says authentic Pandora. That's the first thing, because eBay will stand behind that. They'll, they'll represent when it comes down to, well, they said it was Pandora. Well, it's not Pandora, so you get your money back, you know? So the other thing is, I look at pictures. So I will compare the picture that they're showing on eBay to um, just, you can Google it, or, um, you know, if you Google Pandora beads or even go to Pinterest, they show the picture of the, the real Pandora bead. Um, this one isn't even out of stock yet. So, for instance, this little uh, Murano, I got at the outlet. And this one I got at eBay. And I will just compare. And they're identical. They're identical size-wise. The core, the silver core, is the same. Width-wise, the quality is gorge. I mean, it's gorge. They're so sparkly. So, but this one, this other Pandora that I got years and years ago, and it was definitely at, probably, no, it might have been at a second, like a shop. Not even, but look how much bigger the core is. So just because it's not identical, it doesn't mean that it, they've changed the way they make them. So the core is just bigger on this bead. And it has the 925 ALE on the back, and it just says Pandora twice on the front. This one says just Pandora once and 925 ALE, and then the back doesn't say anything. And guess what? Even if it's not authentic, I'll pretend it is. They did a good enough job for me. I'm, I'm not going to fight it, and I, I love it. And to be honest, I mean, you want to make sure that the threads work right so when you thread it on I have no problems it goes right on um, and that's just my personal preference because there's nothing that says I can't get those other Italian charms that are made to fit the Pandora bracelet if they're gorge if I love them right so you guys can you know use your best judgment but I just wanted to say that I'm not afraid to order on um, eBay but again, that's your own personal preference. And let me just show you one last thing. So I put my little ladybug, my Murano. And like I said, if you don't have a clip, they're going to fall off. Um, but this supposedly was their shortest length. Because, let's see, I didn't even ask the first time. So when I got the pink one, it was free. And she just like put it in the bag. I don't even know if she asked me. But when I got the blue one... She specifically said what size, and I have been back enough now that the, I think her name's Dawn, the uh, associate was like, oh, she's the smallest. Give her the smallest, So because she, she knew my wrist size. So I guess they do come in bigger sizes, but it's a double wrap. So I will just hold it by, let's see, the ends and go around twice. And like I said, I like the, class to be above me and then I can take this little end tab and pop it in the notch. There's a little notch and then clip it. The only thing I don't like is the beads do tend to sit on the bottom because there's nothing to hold them like on on the snake chain you have these little stations like I said 
where it's going to keep the beads from just all falling to the bottom. So obviously that's going to be the case with the leather because there's no, nothing to keep them from sliding. But I still like it. And guess what? It's super comfy. I don't even know it's there. It's light. And I've only really tried it with about three beads. I don't, I haven't done more than three beads on these yet. That's the ups truck. My, my little girl loves the ups truck guy. Um, but yeah, so that is my update. And so I'm not sure, I mean, depending, if they want to give, give bracelets away for free, I'll take them. <laughs> and it depends if I, because I do love pink. I would probably get a black. That's the only other color I like want. But if they give me any other color for free, it's not like I'm going to say no. And I will be getting the, um, I have a bangle that I never really wear. But it is also, it kind of has my Christmas beads on it right now. So this was, I got this for Christmas. It's the, uh, I guess there's a snowflake on there. And I think it's a seven point. I'm not sure now that I think of it. I don't know if I've ever measured or anything, but it's, again, it's more like the leather because the beads are always going to fall to the bottom. And it's a Christmas bangle, so, I mean, I'm making it into a Christmas bangle. I'm going to keep my Christmas charms on here. So I haven't really been wearing that. And, I mean, I exercise. I do crafts. So practicality-wise, I would wear this when I'm a little more dressed up. You know, it's a little more flashy. Um, if I were going to a class or, you know, whatever. If I'm going to exercise, I don't wear any of my jewelry, really. Um, and just my watch, which is giving me a problem because it's making my skin a little reactive, I think. But just around the And now when I'm crafting, I can wear this in the craft room because, I mean, it's, it's not going to get in my way or bump into things because it's close to my wrist, too. You don't want, really, things getting in the paint. So... Um, I hope that was helpful, as, along with inspiring. <laughs> but that being said, shop wisely, children. All right? And I'll be back. I'll do this again, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching.